there was resistance. I don't ring the bell because it's happened to everybody. Okay, okay, well, 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 that's your story. So, so, so the Lord is saying, what are you paying? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? And uh, 
So, okay, at least there's still some pride out there still kicking it. So he's talking to a young lady, and the young lady's trying to talk to him about going to church. And so he says, well, you know, I never even heard about God until I talked to this, this young man, Mr. Bradley, a long time ago, four years ago. So he goes to the church, and the church is packed. So he had to sit in the overflow downstairs, and he had TVs downstairs. So he puts on his pants. That's the guy! He's come on that <laughs> So she talked to him about church. He, he mentioned me, and then the next day he comes in and he sees him. That's not coincidence. You know, because God, God is setting us up. Yes. You know, God is, uh, Jesus said, look, look, he said this. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. Look, look. See, see, so we all see we be all caught up in the in the, in the spooky. Pay attention. He said, I go to play, play, prepare a place for you. He said, that that where I am, yes. you may be there also. Yes. He didn't say that's that where I'm going. Yeah. But see, when we listen to the scripture, that's what we be thinking, right? Yeah. You know, I go to prepare a place for you, that where I'm going, you'll be there also. So Jesus is going to prepare my mansion in heaven. So well, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be there. That's not what the scripture said. He said, that where I am. Yeah. So right now, I tell you that where I am, I'm preparing a place for you. Yeah. And that where I am, you may be there also. I'm saying I'm someplace while in your face. Right. See, right. Jesus was on the earth, yes. but in the kingdom of God at the same time. Yes. Come on. Come on. Ah. See, Jesus showed up to introduce us back to how things were originally. Yes. See, in Genesis 1, 1, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth together. Connected together. So that's the way he set things up from the beginning for us to enjoy the things on earth as there is in heaven. See, again, traditionally we pray that prayer. You know, Father, on earth as there is in heaven. Yeah, but it's saying something. We're supposed to be living that kingdom life on earth. That's right. That's right. Come on. So Jesus was representative of that. Mm. Indicated by the fact that he's called the door. I'm the way. Yes, sir. I'm the way. There's a path. The door. Right there, that door is outside present and there's inside present. Right smack at the door. Yes. So Jesus was like, when you embrace me, you embrace in heaven and earth. Yes. It was a setup. Everything. So look, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Yes. That where I am, you may be there also. Because right now, it's uh, what is it? Uh, uh he was playing for my team Washington with Deshaun Stevenson. You don't see me? Yeah. Jesus uh -huh. was like, you don't see me. <laughs> you think you see me, but you don't see me. I'm not even here right now. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to get you where I'm at. That's the thing. He's trying to get us in a certain place. Jesus right. died on the cross for our sins. For what? Because some of the lives that we live, we can live without Jesus. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying no names. So don't get offended. But... I mean, I know people be trying to keep people at the church, you know, they're trying to say nice stuff. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll get the truth today. But, but, but think about it. Some of us, right. we're living lives that we don't even need Jesus. So if Jesus died, and we're attaching our faith to what he did on that cross, something should be happening different, right? right. We should be experiencing something different. That's why all the stuff in the Bible seems all spooky. That's why people ain't even coming to church. Because because they're like, okay, uh, actually, uh, I thought I'd see him today. He's not here, but my barber told me. My barber said, he said, uh, I was explaining some things that happened. Actually, I met this gentleman who giving him a jump. I met another gentleman who giving him a jump. There's another gentleman I met. Check this out how I met him. I was driving, and my, I just got my brakes fixed. So I'm driving, and I see I, I, a car goes by. And I'm saying, wow, that, man, that car's making a lot of noise. They should get their brakes fixed. I was like, and to myself, I said, thank God I got mine fixed. You know how you be feeling when you took care of your business. <laughs> right, so, so I was like, thank God I got mine fixed. So the car went by, and I still heard the noise. It wasn't the car. It was me. <laughs> but I just got my brakes fixed. So you know how you, you, know, you be hurting. Like, when you're like, man, I got them fixed, man. They're going to try to wheel the deal when I go back and find something else wrong. So I got out the car, looked under the hood, there was nothing under the hood. So a guy comes out, gets his car, and he starts to talk to me. And he says, you know, that happened to my car, so we start talking, and my wife said, well, hand him a flyer. <laughs> so the guy said, oh, man, he said, he said, oh, man, he said, I'm looking for a church, I'm looking for a new church. So I get in the car, I said, you know, I, I think, baby, I'm just supposed to meet that guy today. Yeah. 
But I said, I'll, I'll, I'll take the other vehicle to take you to work in the morning, then I'll take the, this vehicle to the shop. I get in the car, nothing wrong. Oh. I get to the dealer, they didn't find nothing wrong. Oh. I'm driving the day, there's nothing wrong with it. Hallelujah. <laughs> God, God is setting things up. Yes. Everything is set up. It's intentional. All right, so let me get this where I'm supposed to be talking about. Now you deal with the world. You know how you, you do. Uh, let's, let's look at uh, Acts 2. Give you some scriptures. You know. Right? Give you some scriptures. Oh, have a topic too. That's how they do it. Give you a topic. Uh, the message for today will be. All right, uh, the topic today is going to be a place for your grace. It's a place for your grace. You know, we talk about grace is unmerited favor. See, this is good. See, because if you're in the right place, see, so see, favor is galvanizing itself in that place. See, so see, you ever see something? It looks like, uh, well, I just talked to somebody this week, but it looks like other people are getting stuff that they don't, you like, but they didn't work as hard to his favor. See, so, so, so what God is saying is if you follow the path that I said before you, the scripture says narrow is the way. Yeah. If you follow that path that I said before you, favor's out ahead of you. But favor's out ahead of you on that land. Mm. Now, if you on that road, favor ain't on that road. Jesus. There's a song by Lauren Harris called I Choose Joy. And uh, one, of the, one of the verses says, God wants to know what you're doing under there. But I want to say this, God wants to know what you're doing over there. No, no, he's like, so God is walking down this lane. He's out of heaven. Right? You over there. God, where, where you at? Right? God wants us stand in line with what he planned for us. Narrow is the way. Now, how can I stay on that narrow path? I got to stay in line with his word. Yes, I got to yes. follow his instructions and his directions. They're specific. Look at uh, what I said, Acts 2. The place, no, it's a place for your grace. So the grace allows you to be lined up with your design. See, so, so the scripture says in Psalm 139, 14, God fearfully and wonderfully made you. Nobody else like you. You can't, you, you can't compare yourself to nobody. Mama, daddy, cousin, the girl next to it, nobody. There's nobody like you. Yes. So God said, no, the only way you can discover you is to get in his face. There's a uh, uh, first Corinthians 13 that says, uh, now you're looking through a glass darkly. So you're in the mirror, yes. but it's foggy. Yes. So you can't see you yet. It says, now you're looking through a glass darkly. It says, but then face to face. Yes. Uh, it says, now you see in part. You really don't have a clear picture of where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to go there. It's getting kind of funky and you know? It says, but then you'll see even as you're known by God. See, because Jeremiah 1 says, God knew you before you was in your mother's womb. He already knew you. And, 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 they said, and he set you apart, a prophet. Hallelujah. So Jeremiah told me, set him apart, a prophet. He already, so before Jeremiah got the earth around, God said, okay, this is what you designed to do. This is your purpose to do. This is what I plan for you to do. So I need you to stand out with my plans because I have all the provision out of heaven. So when you step to that level, I got provision there. You step to that level, I got provision there. You step to that level, oh, that's covered too. You step to that level, that level, that covered too. But if you go over here, ain't nothing over there. If you get pulled by them over this way, there's yeah. nothing over there. Yes. If you get way over there, you're on your own. All you have to do is get back on the path. And everything is opening up. And the doors are opening up. See, so, 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 we, 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 first thing is okay. See, we know in part, we see in part, but the goal is to, to, to saturate ourselves in the presence of God, around the people of God, so we can fulfill the purpose of God. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what we're designed for. It's something you'll be happy at doing. Man, I can't wait to see what's going on.